Hi, first graders, first grade families, and first grade teachers. My name is Susan Mello, and I'm currently working as the Title I coordinator at the Mescoma Valley Regional School District. I'm here to introduce your math bag to you this year. Um, but before I even start, first I'd like to thank Nancy Murphy, Director of Curriculum, Instruction, and Assessment. She and I chose most of the activities and put the bags together and the first grade teachers who gave us a lot of input on what should be in the bag. So thank you again, everyone. So let's take a look and see what's in your bag this year. You are getting the, your grade level appropriate manipulative are connecting cubes. Uh, you have 20 connecting cubes, 10 of each color, and these can be used for a variety of things. Um, you could take your die and you could roll them and add them together and say, oh, six and a two. I'm going to take six blue ones and you can put them on this math tool right over here. You have a double tens frame. Six and two and I have six blues and two whites equals eight. You can use them for adding that way with your dice or you can, instead of you rolling your dice, you can use tens frames cards, you can use dominoes, or you can use the number cards. Um, in addition to that, you can use these to do some patterning. Parents, you can set up a pattern and first graders, you see if you can do the same pattern or first graders, you set up the pattern and see if your families can do it. So I could make a simple pattern of just blue, white, blue, white like that and continue it. Or I could make a little more complicated pattern and maybe make white, white, blue, white, white, blue, and then I could say, and what comes next? Another white. So those are in there for you. In addition to that, um, we have uh, several games that I'll go over very briefly. Um, one of the games is the penny and dime exchange game. I didn't put the pennies and dimes in. Hopefully you have some change at home. I did do a photocopy, but it really didn't come out great. Um, for the penny and dime exchange, and you have a tens, uh, tens mat, so this is an exchange game. When you roll the die, I have three and one is four, I put four pennies. When I have 10 pennies, 10 pennies becomes one dime and I can exchange and you can play uh, up to, you have five dimes or six dimes and then the game is over. So we have that. Um, we also have another game where you can use the dice. This is called roll and record uh, doubles. You roll the die, the dice, and you have on this side, um, work with a partner, roll the die, and use that die as one, use that to make a number. Four plus four equals eight. So you could take your dry erase marker and fill in a um, one of the blocks there, see who, which number gets rolled most often, the doubles. On the flip side of that, is roll and record doubles one to 10, and this goes up to 20, so you could use your number cards. You also have a deck of cards that I'm not going to open, but you could also take the jacks, queens, and kings out of this and use these as doubles. So for example, I pull a, I deal myself a seven, seven plus seven equals 14. It's a way that, and then you would color in one of these, whichever one gets to the top is the winner, a way to practice doubles up to 20. Okay, on this game, it's a subtraction bingo. You have two mats, and you play this game like top it. Um, use your, you can use your deck of cards again. Um, roll the, uh, take two mats, uh, take two cards, and the de that, that's out. So 10 minus seven equals three. Take one of your counters and cover the three on your mat and your partner would cover the three on his mat, his or her mat. Whoever gets four in a row wins. Okay, and the directions are right there for you. You also have um, another game. It's here, it's called the number grid game. The directions are on the back. This has a little skill. You are seeing who can roll up to 110 first, but you use your dice but it's not just straight, it's a little strategy. If you roll a one, you can count up one or 10. A two, you can count up two or 20. And then three, four, five, six. The object of the game 
is be the first one to reach 110. This also gives practice. If I rolled a two, I can go either two this way or 20 this way, 10, 20. It's practice in moving around on the number grid. Another game similar to that is rolling for 50. This also has um, some um, catches here, some strategies. Roll a one and you move up three. Roll a two and you move back two. So it's not just an easy straightforward. So those are two games to play. You do have another grade level appropriate manipulative in your, in your bag and it's a Judy clock and you can use it to tell time. Um, one of the activities that we included with this is to use your number cards, either the small ones, or you can use your deck of cards with the picture cards removed and place the number face down on the table, turn over one card. Suppose I turn over seven. I'm going to show seven on my clock and I'm going to say what I'm doing at seven o'clock. If it's seven o'clock in the morning, I might be eating breakfast and getting ready for the school bus. If it's seven o'clock at night, I might be hearing a story or doing my homework. You also have a book that goes with that called It's About Time, and it's a nice storybook, and it shows it in analog and in digital. So that's all for you, too. Um, another game that we have is called Edition Memory. That's just a straight memory game. Um, I've cut mine apart. Yours are all in one piece. You just turn the cards numbered down, and you try to find the match equal matches. There's a several um, domino topic. There's topic games here, domino topic, uh, addition topic, before and after, what's my number, and you have, yours are still all in one piece, but mine are cut out. You have domino cards that you can use for adding and top it. You have number cards to use for top it, and you have base 10, uh, I mean, uh, 10 frame cards to use for top it. So um, I'll stop there. I hope you enjoy all of these activities as much as we did finding them and putting them together for you. And thank you for listening. Enjoy.